In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up the FI-1000. The FI-1000 allows you to view and configure multiple Keyence devices all at one external display unit. Visually display and set up outputs all with this simple, easy to read external display unit. Everything referenced in this video can be found on the FI-1000 instruction manual, downloadable on the Keyence website, or from the link below. Let's start with cable installation. Since I'm connecting two devices to the FI-1000, I'll need to use the Y connector so that I can connect two devices to the FI-1000's multi-port. Let me start by connecting the FIC concentration sensor to port 1 and the FL level sensor to port 2. Please note the limitation with the maximum number of connectable units per FI-1000 display unit. Once connected, we can hook up power to the FI-1000. This will also supply power to our concentration sensor as well as the FL level sensor. Let's next go through the initial settings. When powering on the FI-1000 for the first time, you'll be greeted with the initial settings screen. Here you can enter basic information like language, screen orientation, as well as date and time information. Be sure to select the devices that you have connected to the multi-port of the FI-1000. In this case, on port 1 I have an FIC concentration sensor, and on port 2 the FL level sensor. Enter the initial settings for the devices you have connected like probe lengths and units, as well as what type of signal you need the FI-1000 to output. Finally, configure each of the different channels for the specific function you need them to do. In this case, I've set up channel one as a analog output for concentration, and the rest are discrete 24 volt outputs. Now that you've properly configured your initial settings, we can see the FI-1000 FIC concentration sensor and FL level sensor all within the application example set up for this video. Using the easy to read intuitive display of the FI-1000, we can simply set up the FL level sensor by tapping the center button and actually going down to what's called tank view. This gives a great visualization as to what the FL level sensor sees. The current value can be seen on the top right corner of the screen of 96. If we actually tap the down button, we can see the current setting value at 172 millimeters. Here we can use the down arrow key to bring that number below our current value to turn on the output. The left and right arrow keys allow us to cycle the different display options on the FI-1000. Here in multi-view we can see the temperature, bricks percentage that the concentration sensor is returning, as well as the current value of the level sensor. Now that each device is configured, we can begin monitoring our application. Don't forget about all the other compatible sensors available with the FI-1000, including the FIT temperature sensor and FDR and FDH flow sensors. If you have any follow-up questions, please reach out to your local Keyence Applications Engineer, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.